Hey guys. Hey, hi Janet. Hi, Missy. <laughs> Janet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so how's everybody doing? Good to see you. I hear you, baby. Uh, I don't really have a place for you to come up here. Really not not a spot. It's not a spot. Wet paint. There you go. There's a little, little square. Come on. Here's a little square for you. <sighs> so, anyway. Yeah, I thought we'd do some steampunk collage boxes. Hi, Terry. Charmaine. Uh, Chris. Christy. Who else am I missing? Thanks, everybody, for being here. <clears throat> Linda. Terry Brett. So I'm a little congested this morning. I think the pollen is getting to me. Although it rained, it's had, <clears throat> had a storm come through last night. So hopefully that washed the pollen away. <clears throat> but in the meantime, if I have to sneeze, I'll try to mute. <laughs> Hi, Chantel. I have a question. When painting a canvas with black acrylic paint, how do you avoid brush streaks? Well, if the canvas is textured, if the canvas is textured, there shouldn't be any brush strokes. If the, you know, if it's texture, the texture should come through. But the best thing to not have brush strokes, uh, like when I do um, varnish and stuff, I use uh, a sponge brush. The sponge brushes, those cheap, you know, ten for a dollar sponge brushes. I see, baby. Uh, hi, Marguerite. Uh, let's see. Hi, Arlene. Uh, Vail. Who else am I missing? So, yeah. Okay, Arlene. Listen away. Lurk away. So, let's see. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. You know the cheap, you know what I'm talking about, those cheap sponge brushes, right? Uh, Laverne. Uh, let's see. That's what I use if I have a big area for uh, varnish. I use those because it doesn't leave the brush lines. Or if it's small, I just use my finger to do the, to do the varnish. Yeah. Hi, Leona. So, okay, I got to go turn down my air. It's really hot in here. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I'm back now, boo. Hi, Tina. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, Bacola will not be here today. She has RV duty. She has RV duty today. <laughs> hi, hi, Selena. And y'all, um, uh, Selena's got new kits and fabrics and stuff uh, up on her shop. Thanks, Tina, for saying good morning. Hi, Hermie. So, um, yeah, Tina is always on top of it. Let me see if I have it still in my, do I have it in my paste? There we go. There's, um, that should be a link to Selena's shop right there. Hi, hi, Nina, Tori, Zoe, let's see who else am I missing? Debbie, uh, t -t 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 Missy, thanks everybody for being here this morning. Give you, she's spoil me. I try my best. I try my my best to spoil you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, t -t 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 
Yeah, so we're going to collage. I got, you know, I showed y'all the book and it's now, I showed it to you on Monday, I think it was, and now it's cut up. So, you know, I've cut into it and stuff to make some different projects out of it. But I did pull these two sheets to work on the boxes. And I also have some of these little frames that have plastic, like you can put a picture behind it. I don't know if I'll use them, but I got those with some um, focal images there. Got some keys. I got some copper or, well, bronzy color, liquid pearls if I want it. And I did paint one. I'm going to paint this box for y'all. I didn't want to have to paint two boxes uh, in front of you. So I already painted one box. <coughs> These were high end. These were on uh, sale at Hobby Lobby. I think 40% off all the wood products this week. So I bought two of these. I think they came out to $4.50. And it has all the hardware on it and all the, you know, everything on it. So, yeah. So I painted one already. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start painting this other one. Uh, just, you know, because we can. And then we're going to apply different parts of these pages, which I, you know, I got tons. If I run out on those pages, we got a whole book. <clears throat> we have a whole book of steampunk here. So that's what we're going to do. So let's just put this right up there and this here. And I'm going to go ahead and paint this. I might need a piece of wax paper. Do I have one under here? Mm, let me just get another piece of wax paper. Mm. Hi, Flo. Hi, Ego. Excited to see you use that book. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's see. I think we can zoom in one. Click one there. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and start painting it now because it does take a minute. <clears throat> but I have one already done because I wanted to do two of them. <clears throat> Again, guys, I'm a little congested from the I think it's the pollen because I feel fine. It's just stuffed up, you know, uh, and I'm not going to have allergies. But now that we had a big storm come through last night, there was a tornado over by my sister-in-law, but they're okay. Uh, but the, um, you know, the, the, I'd fallen asleep with the TV on watching. I don't know if it was, I don't, it wasn't the weather. I don't remember. Oak Island or something. Anyway, um, <laughs> the alarm went off for her area because it's in Georgia. It's not too her. She's not too far from here, but they had a tornado go through. But I think it was just just trees down and not nobody was hurt or anything. And uh, so anyway, um, yeah, you, you don't sleep well when there's tornado warnings. <laughs> I got my lemon water right there. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and start painting. I'm going to start on the inside. Put it in caps if you're talking to me. Um, Let's see. Let me tilt that just a little. There we go. Yeah, we're okay. Um, you know, it is that time of year, and it is that area. I mean, the south, you know, the south. Um, there's a piece of wood there. You know, you, that we have tornado um, sirens, too. And ours, our sirens did not go off in our area. Just the TV one for, you know, a little bit uh, northeast of us. But it's all gone through now. It's going to be sunny for the rest of the week. I'm going to try to get over to the Blick. See, I still haven't done my birthday Blick trip to the Blick Art Supply. I still haven't done that. Every year, I try to get over to Blick once a year. It's about an hour away from here. Uh, about once a year, I try to get over to the Blick for my birthday. Well, I haven't made it over there yet this year. And my birthday was in February. So I'm going to try to make it over to Blick this weekend because it's supposed to be really nice weather for um, the next week or so. So, yeah. So I'm just going to paint all black and it's going to have copper accents. So... Let's see, a neat olive and hungry, but not in Budapest, but Budapest is a beautiful town. Oh, well, good to have you, Anita. Thanks for being here. Oh, uh, let's see. Ma um, Martiza, Mar 
Martiza. Uh, let's see. Marita, M A R I T Z A. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> All right. So, is anybody working on anything this, today? Any projects y'all are doing this week, I should say, this week, since it's a uh, hump day? <clears throat> Just get a little coat of paint. Okay, Maritza. Maritza? Maritza. Okay, Maritza. Okay, I have to remember Ritz. Putting on the Ritz. Maritza, putting on the Ritz. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. And Tina, I hope you're okay. I know you're still dealing with your mom being in the rehab, last I heard anyway. Uh, um, just like, okay, so we walk, lurk away. We don't find lurkers. If I do a giveaway later, though, stick around so that you can participate in that. All you have to do, you know, is put in a number. You just have to be able, to, willing to send me your address if you win a giveaway, which I do not share your address with, with anybody, not even the other mods. And I don't put you on a mailing list. Not that there's anything wrong with mailing list. I just don't have one. I don't do it. <laughs> so I just clarify that for everybody. All right, let's go into the inside of this, and then we'll do the edges. <clears throat> Janet and I were talking about her making uh, my zine box, and she has a, uh, a Zentangle box that she made. Janet actually builds the boxes from scratch. Yeah, I just go to I go to Hobby Lobby and buy one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Your mom is hanging. There. Okay, thanks, Tina. Okay. Yeah, so I wanted to do two boxes. So I painted one last night. And uh, so, you, you know, you didn't have to watch me paint paint two boxes. A little couple of pieces of little wood there. A little, little thing. <clears throat> Is it international? It, you, yes, I do international giveaways. I do. Hi, Raul. I do international giveaways, Zoe. We'll see how much time we have with this. If I have time to do the other little thing I have sitting over here for a giveaway. We'll see how much time I have. <clears throat> All right. Let me get down in here and get this. So did anybody mention what they're working on this week? Um, I have not finished day two of the Artful Memories Challenge. Um, for some reason, the Artful Memories Challenge hashtag... It brings up like last year's stuff up at the top. It, I don't know. In I guess maybe Instagram's doing more changes where who knows what. But anyway, so uh, you have to really hunt around for everything for the in the hashtag. I mean, which I don't remember having to do that on like Inktober or other things. So anyway, I have not even done day day two yet. So, again, I said I was going to just do them as I can. I mean, I've got it halfway done, but um, I'm going to do them as I can. I'm not going to do all 30 because there's just no way I have that time. Not in stream two days a week and do the other projects that I work on. So, uh, and the garden and the Barbies, you know, <laughs> I just don't have time to do, but I did want to do some of them. So, uh Hi, sister. How you doing? Good to see you. Anybody else coming in? All right, so now I'm going to try to get kind of up against some of the hardware here. If I get any on the hardware, I should just get a, get a baby wipe handy here. 
So if I get it too much paint on the hardware, I can just kind of wipe it off there. <clears throat> Hi, cat. Anybody else coming in? Thanks, everybody, for being here. I appreciate it. So we're going to decoupage collage. You know, I don't know what the, really the difference is, uh, why some things are called collage, some things are called decoupage. But we're going to glue images on here. <laughs> And um, make a box, and I'll, varn I'll varnish them. I don't know if I'll varnish them on camera, but I want to varnish them as well with my uh, high-gloss varnish. But I don't know if that will happen on stream. I did post the completed um, color book page that I did uh, on Monday. I finished it and posted a picture on IG. So I got that done on yesterday. I finished that. I guess I finished it. Some on Monday night, some on Tuesday. I finished it in post. Maybe it was Monday. I don't know. I lose track of time. But I got it done and posted. <laughs> Hi, Ann Makes. So let's go around here. I hit it with the heat tool and then I can turn it over the other side. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to do two boxes. So I, I painted one ahead of time. All right, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and dry that. Um. <laughs> Terry, I loved your, um, I'll show it here in a minute. Let me finish this. I don't like to talk over the heat tool. It really just has to be the edges that dry in this bloody man. And right in there. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I hear, um, hang on, let me, uh, I hear people talk about, um, get some of the paint off my hands before I flip it, uh, living in the past, you know, living in different eras. You know, time because I love time travel books and, you know, um, science fiction time travel books and all that. I love all that. But, you know, if you're a woman, do you want to be having a baby back in those days? <laughs> you know what I mean? No, uh, no. Uh, well, I'm sure that's some kind of medications for the time. But you know what I'm saying? You know, you're just stuck in a house most of the time, just cooking and cleaning and doing laundry. Yeah, I know, exactly, ego. You know, I mean, you know, Hubster goes, oh, man, I'd love to live back in the roaring 20s. I'm like, yeah, you know. <laughs> a lot of men would love to travel a lot of places at time, right? <laughs> All right, so, and there is a little bit of a um, paper, a sticker. I couldn't quite get that little sticker off. But again, I'm going to cover things with the, with the cutout, so I don't know that it'll matter too much. So... <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. All right. So let's go ahead and try to get around some of the. Yeah, anything like that. I don't know. I just. I don't know. Is anybody reading any books, good books lately? Okay. See, so Tina says. Decollage is deconstructing process where you are. Well, no, I'm not decollaging. I'm, I'm the when I deconstruct my um, collages, I call it reverse collage because I'm painting things away. Uh, I'm talking about um, not not de decollage, Tina, but the difference between 
collage and um, decoupage. Decoupage. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's de decollage. I'm talking about decoupage, where you glue things on. Decoupage. Well, uh, decoupage, is, Marguerite said decoupage about cutting, but so is collage. Collage is about cutting. So, I, you know, I don't know. I think it kind of crosses over. I think it just kind of crosses over between the two. You're cutting, you're gluing, you're painting, you're mix. I mix media, everything, you know, so... I, I uh, reverse collage out, which, like I said, that means to, I paint it away. I mean, I just call it that. I don't know. Where you paint things away <clears throat> rather than add things on, but it's a combination. I do both, you know. Um, let's see. So, when, hi, Kimberly. Hi, Cat and Paste. Anybody reading any good books? I love talking books. I did post a couple of pict uh, pictures of some books on Monday's community tab. Y'all know every Monday I post books on the community tab. Um, James Gurney's books, which I think I haven't seen it yet, but Lindsay the Frugal Crafter, I think, interviewed him a week or two ago. I haven't watched it yet, so but I think she interviewed him. You know, Dinotopia artist. She uh, she snagged an interview with him. But anyway, I posted a couple pictures of his books. All right, there's the bottom of that. Oh, really good series. You like Sarah? Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> my granddaughter, Samantha, is reading all. She's on the second one now. I bought her all five of them. For the first, the first, the first series, I forget what it's called, the Throne of Glass or something. Anyway, she's reading all those five right now. And I do have one of two in one of the other series to read myself, but I haven't read them yet. So are, have you read them, Selena? Have you read them? Uh, maybe that's probably that's a good one, Terry. Yeah, decoupage is more simply covering something. Collage is more making a new picture. But you kind of do both when you're painting and adding collages and mixed media. I don't know. Um, let's see. Flo said, what did Flo say about a book? Did I miss what Flo said about a book? I don't see where she mentioned a book. I scrolled back. I don't see it. But um, the frozen river. Okay, Laverne said the frozen river. I've seen that somebody uh, in booktube land mention that one, Laverne. Okay. Yeah, they do cross over, right, Terry? Yeah, I know. My Like I said, Samantha's got all of them now, so... She'll read them as she has time, you know, while she's in school and working. <laughs> so. I really liked her little um, jelly plated images I showed on Monday. Kathy and uh, Colleen were doing some uh, similar things on their stream yesterday. Uh, hi, view. And I finished my color book page that I was doing with view. View's going to be doing hers. I saw her uh, post a new video. I think it was this morning or last night. And uh, view's, view always is working on a whole, like me. I'm working on tons of different projects at the same time. View works on all kinds of color book pages at the same time. So, pour out a little bit more paint. So, yeah, that was fun view. I like the page, you know, either you or the votes picked the Beauty and the Beast type pop manga. So if y'all missed it, I worked on that on Monday. Uh, let's see. I'm reading a series of books by Emily McIntyre. <clears throat> Hi, Julie Topaz. 
so like I said, I painted, I'm going to do work on two boxes. And so I already previously painted one. So you wouldn't have to sit here and watch me paint two boxes. But uh, so I'll have two boxes I can work on. Let's make sure it's dry before I get it, put matte medium down. On, a, on that, this one, the other one's dry. So I'm going around the hardware, and if I get too much paint on the hardware, I just kind of wipe it off there. So yeah, I'm glad that the storm has gone through, and we've got nice weather for a week. Um, I'm glad I got my garden in. Hopefully it doesn't get cold freeze. I don't think it's going to freeze, but, you know. But that was fun for me and Samantha to put in the garden. All right, there's that. Let me go ahead and dry this. The fatty tour? Yeah, I did. Charmaine. Water here. Hi, Mark. <sighs> yeah, keep my voice. Yeah, I wasn't sure I was going to stream because I was sneezing from the uh, pollen. And I don't know. Officer goes, well, just do a short stream if you're going to be sneezy. So far, I'm okay. Not too sneezy. But now that the storm came through, that washes the pollen away. We all wait for that to happen. If you've never had your cars covered in yellow pollen, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> <laughs> some years is worse than others okay all right let's turn it around here hi rainbow how you doing kimberly i usually see kimberly at mary's early in the mornings i mean she didn't mary didn't stream this morning but that's where i usually see kimberly See Kimberly at Mary's a lot. Just trying to get around some of the hardware. It's a nice flat angle brush, so it kind of gets around those corners. So yeah, these are all, all the Hobby Lobby wood things are on sale for 40% off this week. So if you have a Hobby Lobby, you want some wood stuff, wouldn't you know it? <laughs> and congratulations to Raul, who won Janet's uh, giveaway for the completing the scavenger hunt. So on Monday's show, Jan I stream at 8.30 to about 11.30, 12, and Janet comes on at 1, and she did her um, yearly scavenger hunt giveaway because it was the three months were up, and uh, Raul won. Raul won the, uh, the drawing for everybody that finished gets put in a drawing, and uh, Janet does a random.org, and Raul won. <laughs> You're welcome, Harold. I was happy for you. Oh, 
you've been posting a lot of stuff on IG while well, well, I've been seeing it. I've been trying to catch them and like them as as you post them. So there's Raul right there. There's Raul. So if y'all don't follow Raul, let's see. All right, let's keep rolling here. Just have the box up on me, and it's the easiest way to do it, I think. Like a side at a time. And like I said, I do have some copper paint for accents. But we'll, we're going to um, glue, I'll say decoupage collage, uh, the images on before we, you know, the, that's the next step. I'm just trying to keep, you know, wiping off some of the hardware so I don't completely cover it with black paint. Okay. Because this box has um, the triple corner on every corner. So, which makes it look good, but you got to kind of paint around all that. Oh, let's see, Christine. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I appreciate that. Hope you all get some inspiration, some ideas, whether you do a box or some tags or whatever. I, I love the steampunk book by Poor Toast and Kate Curry. All right, let's dry that. I could have painted them both ahead of time, but I thought, well, you know, gonna have something to do on stream. So I'm not making my boxes from scratch like Janet does. I'll have to, after I paint this, I'll go get my box that Janet made me for my zines. She actually made the box from scratch, people, like from chipboard. And covered it, you know, collaged it, decoupaged it, whatever you want to call it. Let's get in these little crevices here. And wipe away some of the excess. And she made her zine box. If you've never seen Janet's zine box, next time you're at her stream, say, Janet, pull out your zine box. Let us see it. <laughs> Y'all will be so impressed. I am. Every time she shows that zine box. I mean, uh, Zentangle. She has a Zentangle box. I have a zine box. But every time she shows her Zentangle box, my gosh, with all her samples in it, yeah. Uh, let's see, Miriam and I. Rolls must be doing something with Miriam. Let's scroll back. Did he say what it was? Uh, we'll be making music. Not sure. I think I think Raul and uh, Miriam are going to be doing something, but he, I didn't see what the what it was called. I just saw Miriam and I. Make sure y'all put it in caps if you're talking to me. Okay, let's I'll set that down a minute to get, get up in here a little. I don't mind a little. I just don't want to completely cover up the hardware. Okay, let's try this. 
person in mirror. Let's see. Let me click on this while I'm drying. Third week of August. So y'all uh, follow Raul for all the information. Uh, a sip of water here. Yeah, I'm reading, I'm always reading tons of books at the same time. All right, let's get wipe that off here. As long as they're all different, like I couldn't read two Sarah Moss type books at the same time, you know. I have to read, like I'm reading uh, science fiction. I read a lot of nonfiction too, so that doesn't like... Uh, confuse me with another story or anything. But I do try to post books every Monday in the community tab so you get some ideas for all kinds of things to read. It's not just art books, although this week I did post art books. But Okay, let's go ahead and dry that. Is that a little spot right there, miss? I think so. You're welcome, Terry. Oh, good. <laughs> I know it takes sometimes the post office is great. Takes a while sometimes. I'm glad I got there. And I think Devin. I think Devin is uh, streaming today at two thirty. She's back from vacay, so um, I think Devin's going to stream today. So if y'all like jelly plating and art journaling, you know, go check out Devin. And again, let me post uh, Selena's shop link. Uh, there it is. Selena's uh, got things going on in her Etsy shop, Amour Fabriques. That's her YouTube channel right there. So if you watch her YouTube channel, sometimes she has deals and discounts and things like that. So you got to watch her channel. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> All right. We're, we're getting there. We're almost done with the painting. And I want to show y'all the box Janet made. My zine box. Which is completely full. No, Janet, I'm not telling you to make me another one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I want to show Terry's um, Instagram. She did the, one of the... Uh, and I know both there's she and uh, Jen and I don't I never remember Jen's <laughs> IG name because it's different than when she's here. But they've been doing uh, the prompts, um, some of the prompts from the writing book and from the pulling from the uh, bowl. All right. Let's see. I only got this is the last piece right here.
I just wipe it off my fingers and then wipe it off on the, the excess that gets on the hardware there. You can just kind of Okay, there we go. All right. And then I always clean out my brush, you know, at the baby wipe, kind of get the excess paint out before I put it in the water. Otherwise, just going to have a big bucket of black water. All right, so let's see. Let me get a fresh baby wipe to wipe off, clean off my hands here. Before I get, show a couple things and get on my phone. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's see if I can find Terry's. I'll drop some of my stuff here. Okay. My hands are damp from the baby wipe. It won't let my, my phone open. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got a mess. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Selena. <laughs> I just got your message there, Selena. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, Instagram, Terry. <clears throat> oh, here she is, <coughs> Terry Brett. So she, her, uh, the prompts that she, I pulled out of the bowl for her were envelope, face, and pencil. Now get ready to be impressed. Are y'all ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. Get ready to be impressed. Face, envelope, and pencil. Look at this drawing she did. And she, <laughs> it's on an envelope. Face. Well, I don't know. Is it? No, it's in a, is it in a sketchbook? And then she drew the envelope. Yeah. Oh, hang on, guys. Let me get back over there. Hang on. There we go. Look. Isn't that good? That's so good, Terry. Face, envelope, and pencil. I like people who push the envelope. Oh, I got I to gotta turn off the overhead light. Hang on. Puts a glare on my phone. There we go. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Good job. Good job, Terry. So there's Terry Brett 3, if y'all want to follow her. I know, right? He goes. Very clever. Terry does these kind of prompts so amazingly. Hi, Miriam. Anybody else coming in I might have missed? So, let me show you real quick. Let me just move this over here to the side. Pick up any paint that's loose here. All right. Hang on. Let me get something to dry here. So, I'm not dragging my zine box through the paint. So this is the box that Janet made. She actually built the box. Built the box from scratch. And then she covered it. She decoupaged it or whatever you want to call it. And it doesn't completely close because it's so full. I have it jammed, packed full. So it just barely doesn't close at the bottom. But look, isn't that awesome? She And I think she did it on stream as well. Zines. So, this is my zine box. And I mean, it's packed full. Look, it's so packed full. But these, uh, <clears throat> these are my zine. It's not every zine I've ever had. But it's the last couple years <laughs> of zines that we've done zine swaps and stuff. Or people have sent me zines. So, this is all my zines in here. Isn't that awesome? Look at that box. So, yeah, Janet built this for me for my zines. And she has one that she built for her, Zentangles. And then she signed the bottom of it down there with the little ladybug. So, yeah, I love my zine box. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we're going to do now. 
again, it is a riot. I know, right? It is beautiful, Amor. Or, well, Selena. Amor Fabrique to Selena. All right. So, I'm thinking this is pretty dry, but I'm going to go ahead and get the one that I already will start with this one that I already painted and let this one just settle for a few minutes to make sure it's 100% dry and we'll work in this one. So let's see here. Let's see how we want to do it. So I've got two different sheets here for one for each box and this is just a start. We can always add more stuff to it. Again, here's the, the book we're working out, Steampunk Ephemera, and it's Poor Toast and uh, Kate Curry. Right there, Kate Curry and Poor Toast. You can follow Poor Toast on uh, IG. Kate Curry doesn't have a, a IG. They work together, but, you know, they work on, they, they do these books together. So I did do a little flip through it of it. I've already cut it up, so there's a lot of loose pages. How I, um, keep these kind of books after I've cut into them is with these uh whoops that's not one there Put on the top these uh plastic sleeves like this I keep the books or anything loose leftovers I keep them in these sleeves like this so that all the loose pieces don't just fly all over my room so I keep them in that. <clears throat> All right. So let's see what we're going to do and how we're going to do this. And, uh, yeah. But... All right. So the top of the box, this, I have this big image here that I want right here. Then on the other one, oh, on the other one, uh, no room, no room. Uh, on the other one, <clears throat> I have this one. And then we'll uh, do the paint. Um, start decorating with these. And then, you know, like little pieces. I've got, uh, I've got these for uh, focal points. I think I'll cut out four. I only see three. But anyway, um, I thought these might be cool as a focal point after everything's covered and glued to use these little frames to put like in the middle like that. They're, um, they're kind of like a sticker. So you pull, you know, it's a sticker. So then you just stick that down. And these are really sticky. So I got that for a focal point. But let's go ahead and just start with this. All right, let me get my matte medium. And let me find a little something to pour it in here. Uh, hang on, I gotta go up under my table here and find a, something to put it in. All right. Okay, let's sneeze. Let's see. Hi, Mary. We are just talking about you a minute ago. All right. So, uh, I'll pour out some golden matte medium. Um, I still have to get a new uh, Dawn dishwater, dish soap bottle emptied. <laughs> I haven't emptied it out yet to um, use to put my matte medium in because the other one just got so crusty and rusty and it wasn't wasn't a pouring any longer so let's see here all right so let's just start here and see how we're gonna do this and, it, and i'll probably do pieces i'll cut different parts and pieces so we'll just uh see how this goes Is it too flashed out? Sometimes when I add either bright white or black, it changes the camera lighting. Okay. 
And I do have some um, liquid pearls to maybe add some accents to it, but that's the last, like the very final thing you do. Because you don't want a matte medium over your liquid pearls. Uh, you can hide, you can gloss over it, like which I'm, which I do. I'm going to varnish this with high gloss um, at the end, but you don't want to matte medium your pearls. But you can high gloss over them if you want them shiny, which I do. All right. All right, let's see where this leads us. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Anybody else I miss coming in? All right, so I want this to be like right up here. So then if I go right to the edge, then I'll really cut it right there and I'll cut this off right there. And then I can move some of it down here because I've got down here, I've got the hardware now i can go i can probably do a little bit of uh, around this hardware maybe a little let's just go ahead and make a i'm just using my fingernail to make a dent as to where i want to cut like that all right let's see what we can do here so i have the little indent And up here at the top, I'm going to cut this off. And around the hardware. So that one will go there. And it will go here around that hardware. Let's see, I'm going to trim that there, and I'm going to go ahead and trim this there. Okay, so that'll wrap that way. Making this up as we go, people. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and do, uh, let's start. Pour out just a little matte medium at a time because you don't want it to dry while you're doing this. All right, let me get an older brush here. One of my. Okay. So we'll start. So you want to put your matte medium down first. And you want to put it on the back. I should just be doing this on the wax paper, but whatever. Okay, then we'll put this down here. And then you want to go over the top. Let's make sure we got plenty under there. Go down here on the bottom. Wrap it around. Let's see, I need some more down here. And then I'll take a card and mash it down. Just like I do paper on, on a piece of paper. And it does dry clear. I don't want to get any matte medium where I'm going to glue it shut. <laughs> so let's just cut that little bit off there. Just a little bit more. Okay. And again, I'm going to put high gloss varnish over the whole thing when I'm done. Okay. So there we go. There's our first piece. All right, let's see next what I want to cut out here. Because I really want to use as much of this sheet as I can. And 
and we'll use one of those focal images with the frame. Plus I have some metal keys. Let's see here. <clears throat> Put it in caps if you're talking to me. I'm not seeing anything in caps. It's gonna be cool. I hope so, Hermie. <laughs> And if there's any little, too little of things that you don't like, you don't, you know, um, you don't have to keep every little bit. But because the background is black, it should be uh, okay to just kind of cut around some of that. Like that. So this is going to be over here. Let's see if I can just lay most of the little pieces out now. I'm going to have that there. Maybe I want this bigger piece over here. And I might want this on the side. I think I'll put that on the side and this on the top. Go ahead and put that down. Let me get my wax paper over here to do the back side of the image. Okay, then I want this right up here. And a card. What's my card? That gets out any bubbles. And we're going to add, also going to add copper paint. So there's that. Okay. Now I want to put this right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Cut that off. All right. I'm going to have to get my X Acto knife right there, or a little piece of copper paint, one or the other. Okay. <clears throat> Because remember, I'm going to do one of these. I have three of them cut out. Like I could put her, I could put the cat or the dog. Which one do y'all want to pick first for this box? The girl, the dog, or the cat? Which one should we put on here? Do y'all have a vote? And then I'll, because I'm going to do another box too. But these are the three focal images. Hi, Ruth. These are the three focal images that I picked. Does anybody think of a, which one they like the best? All right, looks like I got one cat, two girl. I mean, two cats, one girl, one dog, two dogs. What do you use to seal it when it's come? Um, I have a varnish. I'll show it to you in a minute. Veil, we're not to that point yet. Yeah, I, have a, I use a gloss varnish, the same high gloss varnish that I use on my collages. Hi, Devin. We were just talking about you coming on today back from vacay. Come on at 2.30, right? Um, dog or cat. So we, we're kind of, kind of, uh, it looks like we've got like three girls, three cats, three dogs. So let's see which one do I like. Because <laughs> I want to use, you know, I've got these different frames. I want to use the gold one, I think. I have gold and I don't want to use the silver. 
So I've got an oval or a square. So if I use the girl, I think she would need to be in the oval. Let's see how these fit. The little dog could be in a square. The cat, the cat could probably be in an oval. I don't know. Then I'm covering, this is, covers up a lot of this too. Maybe I could do it this way. I don't know. I'm not liking these. They're too big. Let's try the small. Maybe I'll just use the two small ones on the boxes. So let's see what we got if we do this. You know? Maybe like that. Does it cover up too much of the background, though? What do y'all think? I don't know that I want to use these if it's going to cover up so much. I mean, I don't mind it covering up some, but what do y'all think? Y'all like it with the frames? Now, again, it's got the plastic on it right now, so it's shiny. It's going to, you know, what do y'all think? I'm kind of liking that, and I might use the dog on the other one. The girl, I'm going to pass on the girl. I think we're going to use the cat and the dog on the two. These are just too big for this. these boxes. All right, so I think that's what we're going to do. All right, but let's, we got to finish. Okay, so let's see. What other pieces do we have here? All right, um, so, but if he goes here, let's make sure I have it where I'm going to want to put it. If he's going to go right here, he's kind of um, sticking there to the, kind of right there. If that's the case, then he needs to go right there. Okay, I'm going to trim him down just a little. All right. I can see the handle down here so I can kind of center him. <clears throat> okay. Hi, one eye. <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to put this on yet because I want to get everything else done. But this just is a sticker, and you just peel this off. See, and this is really, really sticky, too. I think those are Tim Holtz, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so let's add some more goodies to the box. And I'll probably, I don't know, these may not be enough. I may have to dig out of, uh, dig out of here for some more pieces. All right, so I think I'm going to use this little... This little piece here. Okay, hang on. I think I'm going to feel like a sneeze is coming on. I think that'll work. All right. So I'm going to want some other little pieces around the bottom. And so maybe I should just work on the tops today. So y'all can just see me do the tops. You don't really need to see me do all the sides and the varnish and all that. Because the other thing too, guys, when you do this, when you varnish, you have to only varnish one part at a time. You have to let it dry and then flip it over and do the back. Because I'm going to do the back and the fronts. But I can't do them uh, I can't do them at the same time. Because you got to let the varnish dry, which can take a few hours. So I think I might just do the tops. Just so y'all can see what they look like. Because I also want to do some of the little... Um, oh, where is it? The little... And I got to do some painting with the copper paint. 
to the storm but um yeah it kept me awake cheryl it did keep me awake uh, my sister-in-law um was in the where the tornado actually was but she was okay and apparently according to the news nobody was hurt just trees down but we were okay here we were okay here okay so all right let's see um let's make sure that's mashed down well all right, so I'm going to put little dots of uh, pearl, but let's go ahead and dry this. Let's let's take our time here. I think I want to do something else coming over the edge there. Were you all right, Cheryl? And I also have these keys, which I might put a key on the top, like on the watch there. Doesn't that look cool with the key right there? All right, focus back in there. Focus back in there. Uh, let's see, let me get my settings, turn the brightness down just a tad. There we go. All right. Let's see what I can put on the top here you now that kind of can go around. Let's get some more pieces. Like this one right here will fit along the top. Another like round planet though. Mm, might have to get another. Let me get something else out of the book. Let's move this paint out of the way. Okay, so this is the book I'm working out of, Steampunk Ephemera. It's a little frog, a little bee. I kind of want something kind of generic because it's going to just flip over the edge there. Like just some of this, you know. It's on the other side. I'll have to cut that tree. Let's see. You have to look at both sides because you might want something on one side. Uh, Like I just like just some regular old, you know, uh, wheels or whatever. Okay, here we go. Like some of this stuff. Gears. A couple of gears here. Okay, there's one. I'm just going to kind of put it right there and flip it over the edge. And then let's see, maybe something smaller. Um, just a piece, like a half of this gear here. Just a piece of this. And if I leave any little white areas, I'll just go back in and paint that in with a marker or a black paint because it's pretty tiny. So like those little areas right there, I'm not going to worry about cutting those out. I'll just go in there with black paint. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go this way with that one. Okay. <clears throat> Go right over the planet a little bit there. Yeah, I'm going to put that key on there, uh, Kat. OK, 
Okay. Make sure it's mashed down well. Let's hit it with the heat tool. Did I pull something right? I think I did. There we go. All right. And I'm going to do all, I'm going to do around the whole parts of the box. <coughs> Sip of water here. And got the pollen. Now that the storm came through, hopefully it's clear the air. Okay, let's see. All right. I'm going to have to put the frame eventually. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do some copper paint first. Move that over to the side because I want to put this my little here. That still might be, let me put a little more. I used a little bit this morning. And... Bye, Mary. Thanks for stopping in. So what I want to do is just have the edges have the copper edges. And I'm just going to put it on with my fingers like this. So all the, all the edges will have this. Now, I don't want it on the hardware, though. So, any place that you fold it over some of the paper, you know, this will kind of give it an extra protection. that and again it's going to be varnished so it's going to be high gloss when it's all said and done but i got to put you know more images all the way around the box all right let's see if i can dry that just a little it's a little thick so it's going to take a minute so maybe at least get it kind of settled right? But that has to be 100% dry before I can put the varnish on. Right, let me get, grab the varnish here. Uh, do I have, let me get an opened one. Is this one open? Let's see. Here we go. <clears throat> so you can use, uh, this. I use Americana Deco Art. It's called DuraClear High Gloss. The thing about it, you don't have to use this brand. Let me get that out of my way. You don't have to use this brand, but you want to make sure it's water-based. Don't get an oil-based um, varnish because, you, you know, then you're into oil painting or oil, cleaning oil out of your brushes. Get a water-based gloss varnish. And I just like Deco Art Americana. It goes a long way, you know. All right. So let's see now how I'm going to do this because I got to let certain things dry before I can do that. Um, I was going to work on two boxes at the same time, but I think I'm going to do the other pro little mini project I've got over there on the side. So, <coughs> hi, Beck. I'm going to get a sip of water. Beck, are you on at one today? I think Beck comes on at one. And I know the storm went down your way after it left ours. 
came through came through Atlanta area, and then I think it went over to your area, didn't it, Beck? Oh, so Anne's. Oh, well, what time does Ann come on? Ann comes on at one, and you come on after. So it'll be at one thirty. What time does Ann come on? Twelve? I don't remember. Let me know what time Ann comes on. There's Ann right here. There's Ann. So Ann comes on, and then Aunt Beck comes on at one thirty. Ann comes on at noon. Okay, Ann comes on at noon. Yeah, I'm I'm done by 11:30. Okay, so that's still wet along the edges there, but I have to have that copper on there before I put any varnish. You have to do it in kind of stages. Now this is still wet, so let me get another baby wipe to keep the um, keep the brush in a in a in a baby wipe here where I have the the uh, matte medium because otherwise your brush will dry out in about 15 minutes. <laughs> so keep it in a baby wipe till you get back to it. Okay, so now let's try, let's see. Now, you only get one shot at this. You only get one shot at putting down this because it's very sticky. I mean, that is so sticky. Oh, is there two layers there or is that just, I'm not sure what's going on there. No, that's just one layer. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to have to stand up to center it. Let's see here. Okay, I think that's going to be it. Okay. Okay. Then I can put down the, uh, I can put down, because I'm going to put the high gloss, I'm going to put the high gloss varnish over everything when it's dry, the liquid pearl. See, I don't think I'm going to get to the varnish today because I have to let everything dry before I can varnish it. But I will make sure and take pictures and everything. So let me go ahead and do some of this and then I'll show you the other little mini project we're doing for a giveaway. Okay. All right. So what I, oh wait, before I do that, let me get my Sharpie here. I want to fill in some of these black where I didn't want a fussy cut in there, you know, I didn't want to fussy cut inside those little holes right there. So I'll just go in there with the marker. Let's make sure I get them all. Okay. And I might go around it with this too. No, I may not need to because this is puffy, a little puffy. It's a little puffy uh, frame. All right. So let's see here. Hope this is, I, I don't want to set my hand. Again, I'm trying to rush ahead so that we can get the project done. I don't really want to rush ahead, but this has got to take a while to dry. And I want to show you what this is going to look like. Oh, and I got to put the key on too. The key's going to go right there. That'll go on after the varnish. Okay, so after everything's varnished and dried, then the key will go on there. Okay, mm, so we got to let, got to let things, uh, I'm trying to shake down the, here. do I need to put a pin in it? I think I got to put a pin in it. Hang on. And uh, if you have any other, you know, I got other kind of little metallic things I could, I could uh, use as well. Let's see if that'll work. All right, let's see if that's going to work. Yeah, there we go. Come on. All right, let me snap it down and then shake it back down because it wants to clog. Come on. Let me put my pen. Wanting to clog. All right. Here we go. Put some right in the middle of there, right in the middle of there. I don't really need any in the middle here because I'm going to put the key there. So. I think I'll go right along the edge, though, of that. Maybe right there, right there. Can you all see that? Yeah, it's showing up.
Hang on, I'll look at chat in just a second. Put one there, one there, one there, one there. Maybe some on this bottom here. They're supposed to like look like rivets, you know? And that's dimensional, so they'll it'll be um, raised. They're little raised dots of copper. I think I might need a couple more in here. Just calling for it. There we go. There we go. Hi, Dana. Oh, thanks, Cat. Hang on, guys. So that's what it's going to look like all around the box. But you only can do, I, I really, when I'm doing it by myself, I would not put those dots on until I completely finished gluing everything on on all the sides and then doing the copper on all the edges and then the dots you know but i wanted to show y'all the stages of it so that after those dots dry then i'll go in here with the, the high gloss varnish and I, I will have already done all the sides so and then we'll put the key on there too after i do the varnishing i'll uh, add that key and I have other keys here, so I can put a key on the other box as well. Yeah, I have four keys in some of those little frames. So, <clears throat> okay. So, what I will show you is the next thing, because this is, this is what's going to go on the other box. The little dog will go on the other box. Because if y'all missed it, I uh, painted I painted two boxes, one on stream and one after the stream so he'll go on this box same box just uh i had one painted previously so you didn't have to watch me paint two because you watched me paint one <laughs> how lucy do while you were on vacation Devin? And i'm gonna keep all these because i gotta do the second box too and all the sides and everything so I'll make sure, I'll finish these sometime. I don't know if I'll finish it today uh, because I have to let each side dry. But maybe by, the, maybe by tomorrow I'll post it. I will try to finish another one of the Artful Memories challenges today. We'll see. Uh, hi, Kathleen. She did great. She had fun with the ladies. Oh, okay. So she had a buddy. She had a buddy. Okay. All right, so the other project that I got going on over here is I was going to make some tags for giveaway. So let me move this. Let's move that up here. So I already pre-painted them. So uh -oh, I got that one on the wet paint. Uh -oh, there we go. I'll fix that. There's a little piece of copper paint in there. <laughs> that one's stuck. All right, so what I did is um, I got the backside just painted copper, and then the fronts are all painted ready for a piece of the ephemera. And I'm going to splatter, so I wasn't worried about any of this stuff. Or I could just do I could do the same thing. I could instead of splattering, I think I will do the uh, the dots. So I was going to make some of these tags. I already pre-cut this out. So you didn't have to watch me pre-cut. <laughs> and I'll put some kind of a some kind of a thing in there. And I need to find some other metal something, like some metal pieces to put on there. I don't want it too thick though, because mailing international with a big thick key is not going to happen, right? All right, so let's go ahead and I'll just go and let's move this up here like this so I have a place to glue each one. All right, so let's go ahead and put some matte medium down and then 
Oh, I'll show them close up here in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to use these little characters that I cut out. And again, any place I didn't want to fussy cut out, like under the arm there, I'll just use a, a black Sharpie to uh, go in there. All right, so let's mash that down. So we'll get, we're going to do giveaways with these. So I didn't want y'all to have to watch me do too much uh, of this kind of stuff because <laughs> y'all know it's tedious. I mean, not a lot, most of y'all don't mind, but you know, it is tedious to watch me cut out images for, you know, some time. Better watch you paint, watch the page. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, I, well, knowing you, you'll probably win one. <laughs> you know, no one roll. Oops, let's do it down here. Y'all have to remember if y'all are international, you have a better chance of winning one because there's there's fewer of you. Okay. I don't want them to stick to the my uh, wax paper here. So I need to kind of move them off the wax paper as I go. Okay. I need a little bit more matte medium poured out. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Ego. And, and welcome to the group. Welcome to the fibs, friends in the box. <clears throat> Ego brain is new. So... All right, I love this girl. I may I should send this one to sister. Sister, sister, are you still here? I mean, sister has to work mostly now during the day. She doesn't get to be here very often. Sister, are you here? I'd send this one to sister. She doesn't get to be here as much. She's probably already gone. Look, sister, I might send that one to her. All right, let's see. I do send out special ones every now and then to people like if I miss seeing you or you getting over an illness or something's going on. Now, don't get sick, so I'll send you something. <laughs> All right. And then I do have one of the steampunk girl here. All right, that needs to be trimmed just a little here. All right. Let me wrap this back up in case I need some more. <laughs> I am back. Cough, cough. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I have, I'm trying to mute every time I sneeze because... Um, the pollen just got to me this year because I'm not sick. It's just, hang on. I think I got to sneeze. And um, I'm not sneezing on anything. Just saying, don't, don't be a fear. And I'm sneezing on your giveaway. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, and I'm constantly keeping my hands clean too. All right. So let's get rid of this piece of paper and, uh, and I'll put some kind, it'll be a surprise, some kind of, you know, cording in there or something. We'll see. All right. So let's dry these. And then I'll, well, I want to fill in some of the little backgrounds that I didn't feel like fussy cutting out. All right. Let's dry each one. And I'm going to put the, the I'm going to put the dots like I did here. And then after it's dry, I'll varnish, I'm going to varnish these as well. So these will be varnished as well. <laughs> Miriam's always got something going on. You you do good though, Miriam, for everything you have going on. I saw Miriam, she packed up something. I don't remember what it was in her wheelchair, not a wheelchair, but her mobility device around town. I mean, she was like, she looked like one of those, I don't know what you call them, where they they sell stuff off their carts and their 
you know, they're huge and piled high. That's what Miriam looked like. I saw that picture of Miriam with her mobility device piled high with stuff. It's like, Miriam, you get around, girl. <laughs> Let's see, this one has a little bit of a, I missed, I got something on that one. I'll have to paint that in right there. I missed what Terry said. Okay, so now I think that's dry. So let me get my marker here and fill in a couple little pieces. I need uh, all my water I'm drinking. I need to go take a quick break. Take a quick, see, I just ran my hand over. That wasn't completely dry there. The, it's still damp, and if I, you know, it's going to peel off if I'm not careful. So I got to be careful here. Take a quick break, though, and uh, fill in these areas here. So I don't have to, didn't have to cut them out. Like that. The glass is right there. Kind of like that highlight. I don't want to get too much in that weed, in the weeds there. Okay, let's get under this arm, under this arm. So just so you see, you don't have to, you don't have to uh, cut, fussy cut some of those tiny inner inside details. If you have your background painted, you can use a, whatever color your background is. And you could use paint too. You don't have to use a Sharpie. It's just a Sharpie's easiest. All right. So there we go. Oh, a couple more spots. There we go. All right, I'm going to zoom in real quick. And uh, I always put a, so nobody thinks that they're uh, frozen. I have a BRB right here, so your, your computer is not frozen. <laughs> Let me zoom in, though. Let's go ahead and zoom in one here so you can see them a little better. There we go. All right, I'll BRB. Hang on. Stay right there in your little spot. I got most of the matte medium off, but FYI, if you uh, get your hands in matte medium, it it does it is hard to get off. I usually have to take fingernail polish remover to get it off everywhere, um, especially on your fingernails. You have to use you have to take your fingernail polish off because matte medium does it doesn't roll off your fingers like Eileen's tacky glue does. It sticks really well hi joys let's see who else am i missing all right so now what i want to do with these is i want to do the little dots now i'm gonna to have to find a tray or something now here we go let's get my paint my paint tray is dry so i can put them on my paint tray here's my this is a painting tray i use um i can use this for acrylic and anything but it's dry right now so i can put these on there so i have a place to put them 
<clears throat> um, just wash your hair and it all comes off. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know if I'd want this in my hair, Janet. I just use fingernail polish remover. It comes off. Okay, so now I'm going to take my little um, dot, um, the little cop, you know, liquid pearls. <laughs> you like my tray? All right, so let's just hold this up here and let's see what we can do. Y'all can kind of watch this. So this may get, again, this may get repetitive, but it looks, it's going to look, uh oh, it's going to look cool when it's done. And then we'll do a giveaway. We'll give them away. I will varnish these too, so I'll have to let them dry, you know, after I varnish them. We'll go through, I know what we'll do after I finish this. We'll go through my metal stash of metal and old jewelry and see if we can find some cool things to put on them. Now, the international ones, I've got to keep it kind of flat. You know, I'll put, I can put these between a couple pieces of cardstock and mail it, but I can't do like those big thick keys and stuff like that. International. But we'll go through that and see what we can find. See, something like that. And again, it's dimensional. And I'll find some cool ribbon or some... I'm looking over on my ribbon now. I don't know. I'll find something. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> Let's see, Janice, I did the other day. I thought it was all off, but I found out there was more. <laughs> I just need a place that, that when I'm done with these, that I can set them, you know, move them around on something. I'm a little or trash. I get this little. Let, let me move that. Let me move this tray. <laughs> I have this littler one here. Here we go. We'll go with this. We'll go with this one. I need a sip of water. There we go. That's better. All right, let me move this out of the way. So I think we're done with this for a minute. Let me move my box out of the way. So all those dots have to dry. All right. This. There we go. All right. Um, the metal, yes, I do have some metal cogs. I'm not sure where they are, Zoe. They might be in my pink box over here. I have a big pink work box. Those cogs may be in there. I'll look before I dig out the other um, box of junk. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and finish this up here. We'll find something, though. And again, I'm going to varnish these with the gloss varnish. Let's see. I could probably put one there, one there. Let's do that on him, too. On some of these little wheels in his hat there. There, 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 and there. Maybe his, at his neck. And some of these little spots on the clothing there. Okay. Are they cute? Hi, Denise. I think I'm going to send this one to, I'm going to send this one to Sista. I feel bad for her that she has to work. <laughs> here she has to work during our hours i mean a lot of y'all do i'm not saying that but you know i miss i miss her being here i need to do a new barbie photography with sister we'll put some on our necklace there try to hold it on the sides Okay. 
there. And let's see. Let's see, where in her does she need some in the hat? There, there, and there, and there. Her necklace. Maybe her buttons. Okay. Yeah, let's make our little steampunk tags. Needs one more up there. <clears throat> Do you have a streaming schedule? Yes, I stream every Monday and Wednesday at 8.30 a.m., Zoe. Every Monday and Wednesday. For about three hours. Usually I finish up by 11.30. Sometimes a little less. Sometimes a little more. But I start at 8.30. Eastern. I'm sorry. 8, 8 a.m. Eastern. <coughs> Let me get a sip of my water. <coughs> I never did see if Aunt Beck answered me on her uh, on the storm coming through her area. Are you still here, Beck? I don't know where you, where are you, Zoe? <clears throat> right now it's ten fifteen. Well, ten eleven is Janet. <laughs> Last they're also here. Thank you, Tina. Yeah, well, of course you're gonna like the cats, of course. Okay, let's put some in his hat. Get his little something on his buttons. Let's see, Beck said the storm woke us and lost power while it, while you were cooking breakfast. Oh, my gosh. Came back on good. Yeah, ours, it came through here about midnight. But I thought it was heading your way, so I'm glad you're okay. And, this, and the electricity came back on. Now I have the hiccups from my lemon water. Ugh. All right, there we go. So that's those have all got to dry before I put the gloss varnish and make them shiny. But in the meantime, let's look for some little metal. Like I know I have those little gears because I bought them years ago and I never used all those gears up. Let me see if I can find. I'm, I'm going to look at my box over here. Excuse me, Malibu. I can't put this box up on the table. It's too big. But I'm going to dig through it here for a second. Then I have another box of jewelry pieces. But let's see what I got here. Oh, come on, open. Open. Why aren't you opening? Ay. There it goes. Let's see what we got in here. Shall we, Melba? Shall we see what we have in here? I know we have some little gears. But I don't know if they're in here or where they are. But I know we have some. Okay, let's look into the next layer here. Uh, there's brads and fishing hooks and lures that you, you know, you use with this kind of stuff. Um, all right, where are you? on 
one. I'm still digging. I know I have some of those little tiny gears. All right, let's open this. It might be in that other box after all. Okay, they're not in here, so they gotta be in that other box. Let me see if I can get that other box. Hang on, I gotta go under the stencil box. Look out, Malibu. <laughs> She's going, oh my gosh, I'm getting out of here. Right. Hang on, I gotta move. I gotta do a little jenga. <laughs> I've got two boxes of junk. All right, so now I'm gonna move this so we can go in here. Move this off the tail because that's wet. I don't want those to smear. All right. And then, or it could be in here. We have two boxes here. Hang on. Oh, my gosh. Hang on, guys. Got to get around here. Oh, hang on. Hi, Brooke with an E. Hi, Pamela. All right, so I got two different boxes here, and one of them may have those little gears. Don't know. Got sequins, brads, a lot of old stuff from scrapbooking. There's some stars. But I want the little gears. Clips. Brads. Where are you, little gears? Are you in this box? Or are you in the other box? I think they're in a little bag like this. Y'all know what these are, right? I know I've shown y'all these. <laughs> I know I have. <laughs> did anybody did anybody see that or get that? <laughs> laughing so i don't know if y'all got it or saw me saw it <laughs> all right we'll just pass on that okay let's see um all right i'm not seeing it in this box so i'm gonna have to go into the other box. stitch it pam i think got it okay zoe got it okay so let's just put this box to the side and see if it's in the other one because i have those little gears I have them. Oh, I just found a water brush back there in the corner. Just found a water brush behind there. Okay, let's see. All right, so now I got this box. Uh-oh. I left another little fur ball. <laughs> yeah, I got it, Miriam. Okay, let's see if I can get in here. All right, so let I got to stand up. All right, so there's Brad's, Brad's, more Brad's metal and wood stuff now i got some gears in here somewhere more brads it might be on the other side brads. tons of brads y'all remember i used to be a big scrapbooker on design teams and stuff <laughs> so, got a lot of this little thing all right i don't see it in this side let's flip it over i don't know if it's not on this other side i don't know where they're going to be Flipping it over. There's a lot of sequence in here. Sequence, sequence. 
all sequins. Where are you, little gears? I know you're here somewhere. They're tiny, little tiny gears, like that big. Little metal gears. What did I do with them? I don't think I gave them all away. I think I'd remember if I gave them all away, but I don't see them. I don't know. I do not know where the gears are. So if they're not in these two things, then I'm not sure where they'll be. Okay. Could be, I think. I have another box under my table here, but I don't know if I can get to it. I'm going under the table for a minute. Going under. Going under the table. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Ribbon. Wood stuff. No, it wouldn't be in there. I know it wouldn't be in there. Well, I might have to dig out the gears later if I'm not finding them. Because I look here, I'll see if I can bring this up here too. It's very heavy. This thing is huge, and I don't want to knock over my water. But I have this, this big. Whoops, let's put that back in there. Hang on. I have this big, uh, this big pink box. See, I can't even show it to you because it's so big it won't even fit under the camera. It won't even fit under the camera. Let me see if I can back the camera up. There we go. So it's one of these big, huge pink boxes that has all these different compartments. And uh, come on, I can't even open. I can't get a grip because it's up in the air. Compartment in there. Open this up. And I looked in here just a minute ago, but I didn't see the gears. Let's see if I can get this open. Come on. I can't get any leverage on top because it's up in the air. Oh my gosh. No leverage. All right. I can't open it up here. I have to set it on the floor to open it. <clears throat> I can't get any leverage. There we go. And I know it's a pack of them. So I'm just digging around in little teeny things. And I have a pack of them. Did I give them away and I don't remember? Maybe I did. Maybe I gave the gears away. Because I am not seeing them anywhere in here. Okay, I found one. But I have a whole pack of them. See that little gear? <laughs> oh my gosh. There's only the one. But I have one of those little baggies of those somewhere. Or I did. And then I'm opening the next layer. And then I've got a bunch of these kind of things. But there, I'm not seeing the little baggie of gears anywhere. So we may be out of luck on the gears. What else do we have? <laughs> I'm looking. Snaps. Snaps look like gears, don't they? Snaps. <laughs> I don't have any metal ones. Um, all right, guys, I know this is going to get tedious, so I'm going to have to quit. I have no idea where the gears are. I know I got them somewhere, but where they are, I haven't used them in so long. That's the thing. All right, let's see if I can slide this back over here. Ugh. Okay. Where, where, I don't know where the gears are. <laughs> but I have a baggie full of them like this. One lonely gear. Yes, Zoe. <laughs> oh my gosh, that wore me out. One lonely gear. I will try to find them and add them to it. But as for now, 
no, I have no gears. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you can see the gears rolling in my brain. Yeah, Miriam. Hmm. All right, so let's do our giveaway. And we might make it an early day. I'm worn out. Ugh. All this pollen is making me tired. Okay, let's see. Um, let's get them back over here. All right, let's zoom back in. There we go. Okay, hang on, guys. Hi, Colleen. Who else am I missing? Did I say I said hi to Julie earlier? Uh, Jasper. Who else? Okay. Now, now I got to find some. Oh, here these post-it notes aren't too big. All right, let's get a main main one here. All right, so I'm going to give this one to Sista. So I'm going to send this one to Sista. All right, where's my Sharpie? Because <clears throat> I don't even, I think she's already gone back to work. I don't even think she's here right now. So, Sista is going to get this one, and now we'll do um, we'll do two U.S. and three international, okay? And I don't know if I should let y'all pick because it takes y'all y'all don't y'all aren't real quick at picking. <laughs> can y'all pick? Can you pick quick? Okay, so here we go. Let's do it. Uh, we'll do U.S. first. Two for U.S. And, well, I guess I could just do it like this. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Do I need to put post-it notes on them? Probably. Let me find some little ones. Uh, you know, I got some here we go. All right. <clears throat> One, two. All right, so y'all, I'm going to zoom in a little more so you can see them. Okay? And you get to pick. So be thinking about what you want so I don't have to sit here and wait for y'all to decide after you win. You know, after you win and you go, hmm, let's see, which one do I want? Don't do that to me or I, I will not be doing this anymore. <laughs> I won't be letting y'all choose if it, if it comes to it. All right, so we're going to start with USA only. USA only. It's going to be the first two people because I'm giving one to Sista. I've already picked. I've already picked one out for her. Okay, so USA only. One to one hundred. Wait till I type in go. Wait, not, <laughs> wait till you win, Leona. If you do. Um, the first two people closest without going over will get to pick which one you want. Okay, so I'm going to leave them right there for a second while we do the drawing. Let me get up my random.org. Wait till I type in go. One number only. Make sure you have live chat selected at the top so you see all the chat. Otherwise, it's going to default to top chat. And that also goes for anytime you're watching recordings. You always need to make sure that you select all chat or all messages, which whatever it says, because it always defaults to top chat. Okay, so y'all need to know that. All right, let me bring up uh, random.org. <clears throat> uh, let's spell it right, Dee Dee, R-A. Okay, come on. Okay, just thinking about it. There we go. All right, so there's my random.org. Wait till I type in go. When I type in a go, put in a number between 1 
and 100. One number only, USA only first, okay? USA only first. So, because then y'all start, international people start putting in numbers and then I'm trying to decide who could get it. <laughs> you know how y'all do. It's hurting cats, people. It's like hurting cats. All right, so when I type in go one number only, don't change your numbers, don't, you know, don't mess with me, people. <laughs> don't mess with me. <laughs> and the mods. Okay, there you go. Put in a number between one and 100. Let the cat herding begin. USA only, then you'll, you can pick which one you want. Okay, and then we're going to do three for international. Okay, we're going to do three for international because I'm giving this one to Sista. <clears throat> One's already given away. All right. And, uh, and it'll probably be a couple days because I'm going to varnish them. And, it, you know, I want to make sure the varnish is dry because you don't want them stuck in an envelope. So we'll make sure they're dry before we send them out. <clears throat> okay, so it'll be a couple days. All right. I'm going to count down. All right. <laughs> Janet, you're so cute. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Gonna click on it. There we go. All right. Here we go. First two people. First two people closest to 74 without going over. 74 is the number. 74. Let me scroll back. Scrolling back. 74 without going over. Let's get back up there. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> and, and when over, Laverne has 71. So let's see. And Kathleen has 71. So it looks like Laverne and Kathleen both had 71. So um, uh, let's see here. Let's go all the way back up to the top. Uh, Laverne gets to pick first because she was the first one. And y'all let me know if I got this right. And then... Um, who else had 71? Uh, Kathleen. Kathleen D. <clears throat> Kathleen K. D. Had 71. Both y'all had 71. Okay? All right. So, Laverne, you get to pick first. Which one do you want, Laverne? And then, Kathleen, you get to pick second. Okay, Laverne, you pick first. Kathleen, you pick second. Laverne wants two. Okay, so Laverne, okay, wants that one. I'm going to put your name on the back. I'm trying to be careful touching it because those dots aren't dry yet. Okay, Kathleen wants three. Okay, so Kathleen, I hear you, Malibu. I'm almost done. Kathleen R. D. Okay. All right. So now we're going to do the international. Okay. Now we're going to do another post it note here. International only. One to 100. Wait till I type in go. Same rules apply. Congratulations, Kathleen and Laverne. Okay. So USA only. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. International only. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> International only. <laughs> All right. Let me get in my... <laughs> International only. <clears throat> Thank you, Tina. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. All right. International only. And then you get to pick which one of these. First, it's all three. Three people this time. Three people closest to whatever new number that uh, random.org picks. I wish I could find those gears. 
they're around here somewhere, unless I gave them away and I don't remember, which is entirely possible. It is entirely possible I gave them away. So we'll see. I'll look around. I see you, baby. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Good grief. <laughs> We're going to go early today. We're going to go early. So, yeah. As soon as we get done with this. So, I don't know. Ann comes on next. And then Beck comes on. And Devin comes on at 2.30. So, all right. I'm going to count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, <laughs> 2, and thanks everybody again for being here. 1, all right, there we go, all right, first two people close, I mean, I'm sorry, first three people, first three people closest to 37 without going over. 37. All right, let's see what I can do here. 37 without going over. Okay, scrolling, scrolling. Let's see. Pamela B has 27. Uh, Ann Makes has 33. So is it Pam B? Ann Makes. Ann Makes is 33. So she has she's the closest, I think. Ann Makes has had 33, and then Pamela B. had 27, had 27. Who's the next closest? I think I'm doing pretty good with this. I don't know where my mods are. <laughs> no, I know. Tina's helping out, but Cola's on RV duty. Janet's around somewhere, and uh, Julie's here, too. Okay, Pamela B., 27, and Marguerite had 15. Okay. All right. Thank you, Janet. <laughs> Marguerite had 15. Okay. And I, I'm pretty, I have all y'all's addresses. So y'all don't have to send me your addresses unless you moved. If you moved, let me know. And that's a Marguerite. Okay. All right. And makes your first, which one do you want? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love you, Janet. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> All right, Ann wants five, so Ann makes. Okay, Ann makes wants the cat. I might have to make you a cat, Tina. All right, let's see. Um, who's next? Uh, who was number the second? All right, so Pamela B, you're next. Pamela. Pamela, which one do you want? You want one or four, Pamela? Pamela wants four. So, Marguerite, you get number one. Pamela, I'm trying not to touch because those dots are still not dry. Okay, and then Marguerite gets number one. Okay. Marguerite. Okay. All right. All right. I don't need these. Can I put your names on them? All right. Let's move the in there. Let's zoom back out, show you what we did today. Uh, well, I won't touch the tags again because they're still wet. Here's the box that we're still working on. And again, those got to dry. And I'm going to outline everything with copper. And I'm going to put, you know, stuff all the way around on two boxes. I got two boxes going here. So, um, yeah. And then I'll varnish it with the high gloss varnish. And I think y'all got the idea. Using... Poor Toast and Kate Curry's Steampunk Ephemera book. You find it on Amazon. Just go put in um, Steampunk, Steampunk Ephemera and it'll come up. And you can always look up Kate Curry and Poor Toast. Either one of those. Follow them on Amazon. Okay. All right. Y'all have any questions, comments, anything before we head out? I think I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A. I need, I need some sustenance this morning. <laughs> yeah.
You can buy a bunch more gears and keep your steampunk box. <laughs> No, I'll find uh, if I don't find the gears, it's no big deal. I mean, I'll just you know go with all this. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm gonna head out. It's a little early, but I'm gonna go ahead and head out. And uh, again, don't forget, and uh, Ann Lar comes on, then Aunt Beck comes on, and then Devin Rex for art comes on. So follow all three of those people so you get notifications. And hi, Debbie. Did I miss you this morning? No, I think I said hi to you earlier. Okay, guys, y'all have a great day. Stay out of the pollen. Stay out of the pollen. Okay, bye.